guys, it's your pal Ed Said. What do you think we're talking about today? Honey! That's right, we're finding out the buzz about honey. Ed goes to school just like you. Ruby has to learn and study too. There's reading science, math, and history, but he really loves learning how to be healthy. He's learning all about the best food for his plate, and he's learning that exercise helps him feel great. This healthy information with physical education, where he gets his inspiration and his motivation. We find him in conversation with his friends, participation in learning situations. Yeah, and his name is Ed, and this is what he said. He's Everybody. Today we're going to learn about a sweet and healthy treat, honey. Did you know that honey comes from bees? Yeah, so I figured the best person to learn about honey from would be a beekeeper. And my friend Mr. David here just so happens to be a beekeeper. Hello everybody. So tell me Mr. David, what is this thing back here? I mean, it just looks like a wooden box to me. This is a beehive, and inside that's where the bees live, and they live on wooden frames that has honeycomb that hold the bees in place. <gasps> that sounds so cool. I wish I could see inside of it. Well, you know, you actually can. I have an observation hive that has clear sides that you can see inside. <gasps> can we go see that? Sure, come on in. Okay, I will. Oh my, unbelievable! Look at all those tiny little bees! How many are in this hive? There are about 10,000 bees in here. And what they do is they come in from the outside, they come in the bottom, they make their way up the top, and they live in these few bottom sections, and then they work on up and they put the honey in the very top. Whoa, that is amazing! So, okay, now here's my big question. How do bees make honey? Well, they go out from flower to flower and they gather the nectar and the pollen. So what is nectar and pollen? The nectar is a sweet substance in the flowers that attracts the bees to come to it. And then as they're going from flower to flower, they're dropping off pollen, which makes new flowers. <gasps> wow, that is an important job. So they bring the pollen back on their back legs as they're coming back to the hive. And then they have the nectar in their stomach, which they'll put in the hive when they get back. Tell me, what do they do with the nectar once they get back to the hive? Well, what they'll do is they'll mix the nectar and the pollen together and they'll make a couple of things. One of them's bee bread for the babies that they'll feed the little baby larva. Oh. The other is they turn it into honey. Oh, that is so cool. So how do they do that? Well, what they do is they have to make sure that the water consistency is just right. So what the bees will do is flap their wings to evaporate the honey so it has just the right amount of water, and when it's perfect, they seal it over with wax. That is so cool. So now tell me this, how do the beekeepers get the honey out of the hive? Well, what we have to do is extract the frames from the beehive. Mm. So we use what's called a smoker, and the smoker just kind of calms the bees down. It doesn't hurt them, right? No, it doesn't hurt a bit. Oh, okay, they cool. just kind of make them sort of sleepy. Then they pull the frames of honey out of the bee box. Then they use a knife to cut the wax caps off the honeycomb. Some of the beekeepers will use a honey extractor to get the honey out. That's a big metal container that spins the frames around really fast. And all of the honey flings out of the frames, it hits the side of the container and then slides down to the bottom. Then the honey pours out of the spigot at the bottom. A strainer is used to make sure none of the wax gets in the final honey. And there you have it, honey straight from the bees. That sounds so sweet. Thank you, Mr. David. Thanks for telling us all about your bees and how honey is made. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad you came today. When the springtime comes, you hear the bees buzz from flower to flower, and that's because honey! Sweeter than your favorite fruit, and it makes a really great sugar substitute. You can put it in your tea, you can put it on your toast, or straight from the jars, what I love the most. And the honey bee, like you and me, have many cousins in the family. They make all that honey for us to 
eat in a big old hive way up in the trees. Or at the bee yard known as an apiary where they carry over all that nectar in a hurry. Now give me that honey. It's good for me. I'm gonna shake my body and move my feet. Now give me that honey. To the honeycomb. That's the bee's home. It's the bee's knees. Queen bee on her throne. For those golden kisses that taste so delicious. Pour it on your oatmeal, corn, muffins, or biscuits. When the pollen blooms and the weather gets warmer, get a jar of local honey from your area farmer. When you need a healthy choice for something sweet, take it from me. You can never go wrong with honey. Now give me that honey. It's good for me. I'm gonna shake my body. When it comes to honey, that's what all the buzz is about. I hope you enjoyed this sweet treat. This has been Ed Said with a message for your head. There's no excuse. Put it to use. Bye. Go to the recipe section of my website and learn how to make a PB&H sandwich with me and Rebecca Turner. So easy and delicious.